Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I'll be covering everything there is to know about Sutton's Bay, Michigan. I'll talk about the downtown, the wine, the real estate, and much, much more. I hope you enjoy. I'm Sam Flamont, a lifelong resident of Michigan and specifically an expert of the Traverse City area. I'll be making more videos like this, so be sure to subscribe, which will help me out as I try to connect with more and more people who are looking for information about Traverse City. But let's jump into everything about Sutton's Bay. You'll see it's located up on the eastern coast of Leelanau Peninsula. It's referred to as the Gateway to Leelanau County because of its location. But it kind of depends on what you're talking about, which I'll explain. You see, there's a Sutton's Bay Village and a Sutton's Bay Township. This is what the village looks like. This is what the township looks like. The village is the one on the eastern coast of the peninsula, while the township actually spans across from one coast to the other. But if someone says, let's go visit Sutton's Bay, chances are they're talking about the village. Why? It's an outdoor area full of dozens of businesses. It includes a theater, an antique store, gift shops, clothing shops, restaurants, and more. There's a farmer's market on the northern side that's in full function on Saturday morning, starting in May and ending in October. There's also Sutton's Park, Sutton's Bay Beach, and Bailey Park, where you can see people sledding when there's snow outside in the wintertime. If you actually are here and you get hungry, my favorite pizza shop is the Roman Wheel. Amazing pizza, so check that out. Another quick recommendation is Boone's where they're known for prime rib. So those are two great spots, check them out. Do me a favor and comment below if you end up visiting. That way, I'll know if you like them too. Also notable is just a mile or two north of the village is the Leelanau Sands Casino. So if you feel like getting some gaming on, that's the spot to be. Zooming out to Leelanau Peninsula and Sutton's Bay, we have to talk about the wineries here. There are 25 wineries, and this reason is actually regarded for their wine due to climate and soil conditions. Here you'll find cool climate wines, and as the term suggests, these are wines that grow well in, well, colder weather. And thus there are internationally regarded wines in the Riesling, Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Cab Franc varieties. It's definitely worth making a trip out to Leelanau wine country if you enjoy good wine. Lake Michigan offers a variety of water activities, but one of the most notable is the proximity to the very popular Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. This features incredible views because of the huge sand dune formations. There are hiking trails available to Sleeping Bear Dunes, as well as closer to Sutton's Bay Village, with the tar trail system that runs all the way down to Traverse City, to the east side out to Williamsburg. Relative to some other locations in the general area, Leelanau County is more expensive when it comes to real estate. It's always highly sought after and features many beautiful properties, which include waterfront and non-waterfront homes. The average home price index, according to Zillow, is currently at $408,000. There are a variety of price points available both on water and off water homes and acreage properties. If you have any specific questions, especially about real estate, give me a call and I'd love to connect with you. I'm a real estate agent doing a lot of business in the area so I can get you answers if you have questions. I hope you enjoyed this video about the very popular Sutton's Bay, Michigan. Subscribe for more content all about the Traverse City area, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. See you next time.